Hello Cheetah fans and welcome to yet another thumping episode of Cheetah Chase. In this month's show we thank Work School Central for the use of their training fields and support. The players join forces with the SANDF and IMPA Paints to improve the lives of the elderly. We showcase the prestigious Curry Cup trophy to the various sponsors and supporters in and around the province and we attend the launch function of the 2019-20 Guinness Pro 14 season in Johannesburg. During our Victoria Scurry Cup campaign, the Toyota Cheetahs made use of the training facilities at the rugby-loving Wurschkul Central, who also showed impressive gears when in attendance at our home games. To thank them for their support, we paid them a visit and handed over a small token of our appreciation. We were fortunate here at um, Central High School that Frank asked us to do the Curry Cup off-season here. So the Cheetahs spent about seven weeks here at our facilities training on our fields and stuff. And I think that created a little bit of energy between the kids as well. It's always nice to have a professional team in town. And yeah, so when the opportunity came and I put out the messages to the kids and said, look, there's a big match coming up Friday night. Who's going? We had close to 300 kids that went to the game. We didn't necessarily um, read about the prize. We only found out when they found us and said we did win a prize. We're not in it for the prize. Rugby is a lifestyle for us here at Central. The kids enjoy it. They love it. They love the cheetahs. The cheetahs is an inspiration. The way they're, the way they're fighting, fighting their way back to the top. So no, we're just going to be there. To be honest with you, I think the Central guys, they were pretty much awesome because they came out in their numbers. They supported the cheetahs and they gave their all. So just to support the cheetahs. So I always say thank you to them. I think for the fans, we just want to ask them, they must just come out in the numbers just to support the guys because if they're not there, the field are empty for us. So for them, I think just for the fans, I think just come out and enjoy it. Come give your 100% to us and we will give our 100% to you guys and we will love your guys' support and if you guys are there, we can play to our fullest. <laughs> The Toyota Cheetahs recently joined hands with Impa Paints and the SANDF in order to brighten and uplift the lives of the elderly patients suffering from various ailments at the Siesta Retirement Home in Bloemfontein. We are at Siesta Old Age Home painting the doors of the patients at the frail care unit. So Siesta contacted the Toyota Cheetahs and they asked us to come and assist them. They have a frail care unit where they have Alzheimer's patients and the patients get confused, they go into the wrong rooms. So basically we're painting the doors different colors and a special design so that each patient knows which room is theirs. So basically we have um, collaborated with the SNDF again with the joint PR and IMPA Paints has sponsored us with the paints. We have already last year identified for the behoefte om ons verzorgingseenheid te dere te verf en vir elke ene unieke symbool of print op te sit, net om het vroeliker te laat lyk, maar ook omdat ons so baie dementie en woners het en het is soveel makkelijker vir hulle om dan te identificeer waar hulle kamers is, maar ook rechtig om dit een vroeliker atmosfeer te maak. Dit ons uitgereik na van die gemeenskap en gevraasd al mense wat ons kan help. Ons is een nie winsgevende organisatie, sy hees, dat bestaan al van 1953 af, maar ons krijg ongelukkig nering subsidie nie. So, alles wat hier moet vernieuwen of enige iets wat ons doen moet maar op die nasies wees. En ergens langs die pad het Randy van ons gehoor en sy het ons genader en gesê, maar sy denk is een project wat die Cheetah sal aanpak. Nou, hulle het al hier van maart af begin uitreik na ons toe en ja, en vandag is die groe dag wat het nou uiteindelik gebeur waar oor ons baie dankbaar en opgekonde is. Randy het ook dan uitgereik na die panserskool toe die Weermachtse soldaten daai kan. Hy het van hulle het gehelp om ons steins schoon te maak, ander verf die gange, die ooral waar ons ons verf nodig het en ons het baie die nasies van Impa verf op gekryk. So hulle is ooral hard aan die werk om ons te help om te verf. Maar ek moet ook sê, die gees waar hulle die doen is ongelooflik. Sommer een bas onder ons inwoners. En dis het soos die Hesta verblijf voortbestaan is met die clips op gee van die gemeenskap. Wat net ongelooflik en wonderlik is. 
This is the second time that we're working with the Cheetahs. They contacted us and said they need some paint to decorate the doors for the old age home. And so, yeah, that's how we got involved. And I think it's such a wonderful cause um, because I don't think a lot of people always remember the elderly. And this is such a fun and creative way to get involved. Gunther was very proud and eager to show his artistic touch. Yeah, here is my personal stick for the day. I was to get a round of in the bos. With a big vacancy. With Bloemfontein still a buzz from winning the Curry Cup and the Guinness Pro 14 around the corner, the team gathered at the Toyota Stadium and invited the Orange Wave to take photos with the prestigious trophies and to get their memorabilia signed. We're having a signing session here at the castle deck. All the supporters are coming out, uh, just celebrating in the Carica victory and also wishing, wishing as well for the Pro 14. It's starting on Friday already. Is it the uh, for supporters? Thank you for your the and um, yeah, thank you for the last one for the Pro 14 begin. So we'll see you next time. Thank you for the session that we're going to and we'll see you next time for the session that we're Well, uh, as the uh, Toyota Freestyle Cheetahs is the 2019 Team, Curry Cup champions, we decided to have a little bit of a get-together where the fans get to meet the whole team, get an autograph or two, get a photograph with the trophy. But on top of that, with the Guinness Pro 14 around the corner, we've got the actual Guinness Pro 14 trophy here as well. So you get the opportunity to get a photograph with the legendary Curry Cup and, of course, the Guinness Pro 14 trophy. With that, the players are here. You get your autographs, you get your tickets already ready for the three games in the Guinness Pro 14 that's uh, lined up for the rest of the year at massive discounts so uh, it's a nice day it's a great day it's great to see the fans it's great to see the players and it's just festive because uh, on the day that the uh, world cup is kicking off we're celebrating with a trophy of our own the next stopover was at Orania Toyota Bloemfontein as Seba and Gunther joined staff and supporters at the massive Hilux and Fortuna Day alongside the Curry Cup Trophy. Um, today we brought the Curry Cup to um, Toyota, who's our main sponsor for the Toyota Free State Cheaters, and we'd like to thank them for supporting us throughout our rugby. It's a big deal for us to see how many kids are coming out. This is definitely the next one that we're going to get out of here. It's very important to engage with our supporters because, as you know, they bring the atmosphere and they bring us the reason to play at home and want us to play at home. Look, ons is one of the hoofdborgen of the Toyota Cheetahs. This is in the title. For us as Verania Toyota is the Cheetahs our pride and joy. Ons is bitter, bitter lief for the Cheetahs. Our client is lief for the Cheetahs. Our glue and support local. So as local, local support, then you get the whole community and it lifts the whole community's spirit a bit up. The famous trophy then departed the City of Roses for a visit to the City of Gold. Escobus LaRue and co stopped over at associate sponsor Cartrack to thank them for their loyal support and of course to show off our newly earned silverware. As part of our Curry Cup celebrations, the Toyota Cheetahs this morning are visiting Cartrack in Johannesburg. Cartrack, a long-standing partner of the Cheetahs, are part of our successes with the Curry Cup. I'm going to have a chat to Mr. Harry Lowe, the CEO of Cartrack. Well, if you told me at the beginning of the year that, Harry, we're going to win the Curry Cup, I would have been astonished and probably up the sponsorship. <laughs> but we're absolutely delighted with your huge success and uh, beyond our expectations. Thank you very much for the effort you've put into making it happen. So I think it's very important that we invest back in our communities and sport is one of those areas that are of very importance to the whole country and particularly rugby as well. And of course, in the Free State, which has been very good to car track over our 15 plus years of, of operating over there. So it was a, a great opportunity for us to invest back in the Free State community, in rugby in particular, as a thanks to our many supporters that we have in the Free State. It's been of huge importance to us, and also very importantly, it's in, we have to build trust in our brand. And along with trust comes continuity and security and the knowledge that car track will be there to continue to support the uh, Cheetahs team going forward. It's very important. From the Toyota Cheetah side, we'd like to thank car track for always having our back. A tracking company that looks after not only their customers, but also their team, the Toyota Cheetahs. 
The Giota Cheetah Academy players recently took time out of their rigorous training schedule as they visited the Kids Care Trust in Roedeville to spend time with the youngsters and to inspire them in rugby and in life. Today we're very thrilled and honoured to be able to collaborate with the Free State Cheetahs to do an outreach with the Kids Care Trust and to donate a whole lot of pizzas to the, this worthy cause and to make little kids happy on a very cold morning. We hope that this is the first of a couple of these outreaches. We really are very happy to be involved. This is literally Christmas for us. Our boys are actually very happy. And this is something that um, I think I told the boys a few weeks ago, rather a week ago, that you guys will be coming over. and. Uh, they did not believe me. To see them, the way that they're acting today, the way they're interacting with some of the players and you guys, this is actually amazing. It's basically uh, to, to connect with the kids, uh, share your story uh, and uh, about your background, uh, like what you went through and give them hope. This type of project means a lot to me because um, I get to connect with the kids and hopefully my testimonial Will, t will change their lives and, may, and then they will understand that nothing comes easy in life. My advice to kids will be uh, first of all to stay in school because uh, education is key. No matter how hard it gets, uh, they, mustn't they mustn't give up on their dreams. As weak as they are, as tired as they are, as many mistakes have they made, they mustn't give up on their dreams. Because at the end of the day, it's all pay off. At hard work, one day it's all pay off. I think this is one of those stories that they'll actually repeat a few days from now. And there's something that will actually, they'll give them breaking rights. Even when they go out to the streets, talking to their mates, they'll actually mention that, you know that the cheaters were with us uh, today. So this is something very big. To see them wearing your T-shirts now, that's actually big for them. Because our boys are coming from humble backgrounds uh, with nothing to, to actually offer, nothing to give. So to get players from a high caliber such as the Cheetahs, coming to them, this is quite big. This is quite big. You guys actually made their year. Not their day, but their entire year. After every encounter on the field, the team gathers in the war room as the coaching staff breaks down and analyzes the game to help improve tactics, strategy, and player positioning. To aid in this, Parrot Interactive Products came into play as Franco Smith explains. To give our players the best opportunity, we obviously need a lot of technology and uh, the Parrot Interactive Board helps a lot. You know, it's good to see right on it and move players around and to get the, give them the right perspective. With that, it's a very special tool to make it um, really enjoyable for the players. Well, Parrot Products, we've been in the market now for a couple of years. Uh, mainly, we are known as the company that makes whiteboards. But over the years, we've expanded so much into uh, office equipment, staplers, punches. Um, we've went into signage, digital signage, and then obviously the interactive range that we also have available now. For them, especially, well, for any rugby team, the analyzing of the game is very important. Instead of now sitting in front of a whiteboard and then planning, now you can put actual picture to it and draw on the picture. So it's much more interactive with the players and also for them better to, well, quicker for them to understand. In celebration of Heritage Day, the Toyota Cheetahs joined Peter van Rooyen from Bon Hotel as they bride up a storm in their annual friendly cook-off, all in order to raise funds for the Towers of Hope Foundation in Bloemfontein. We call it the Bonfire Brian Master and it's been going for the fourth year now. It started off when, when we became part of the Bon family and it was an initiative that was started actually by Anton Steiner from, from the Stell. And he should said we because Heritage Day we should have a bride competition with Guy Stelic, which is the CEO of, of uh, Bon Hotels because he said he could drive very well and that's a mistake to make in the, in the free state, you know. So we challenged him and so every year it's just grown stronger and stronger. So today we've got 16 different corporate teams partaking here and all the money that's raised is going to that organization behind us. It's the Towers of Hope. We, we're looking after the vulnerable people on the streets. So all the money that's raised here today will go to Towers of Hope. Also, I must say, since inception, the cheetahs have been part of it. So well done. Hark, Freistad.
being part of the cheetahs cheetahs um they're contributing here to this to this charity i mean it's it's very important for the cheetahs i mean we as bloemfontein toyota of state cheetahs we, we really like to, uh, to to support people that are out there that are unprivileged so that's why we're here before kicking off the new Guinness Pro 14 season, we look back at 10 of our best tries of the 2019 Curry Cup, starting with Vald Stienkamp, sneaking in this opportunity to dot down against the Golden Lions. Well, they've been in tight situations. It's certainly poor for at the moment. Well, the ball pops up and Vald Stienkamp has just been given the ball with a try line beckoning. He won't score an easier try than that, I'm sure. Might force a little dab over the top, hoping for a clean bounce, but it's been knocked forward. So advantage for the free state cheetahs as Darren Adonis on debut goes over under the sticks. Showing his feet. And the ball's pass was a good one as a Fisa who breaks, gets the inside ball for Mayer. Try time, Free State. Again, the Cheetahs come with them. This is William Smith showing a clean pair of heels. Brilliant running from the halfway line. That's try number four. SG Mary absorbs the pressure, gets the kick, but it's not a good one. Is it a kind bounce for Blomakis? Yes, it is. Clayton Blomakis spins out of the first tackle. Loses his footing. Pina onto the left hand side. Jansen van Rensburg. No Contrana will find William Small Smith. William Small Smith in the corner. Play on. Good throw in. Yeah, straight through those Blomikis. He's taken the right option. Right Pina. Can he make it? Oh, oh. The Cheetahs are back in town. Oh, is somebody just going to put the ball into touch? So we've had enough. No. Everybody wants to play. Yes, for sure. Being a tall fella, he's managed to get above it. Here he comes. Louis for sure. And what a finishing touch. And Ryan and Jobeni making a good stop. Skuman. That space that opened up. Chris Jonapool. Jonapool out to Adonis. Darren Adonis will go over. Bonus point try. Free State Cheaters. Advantage. Still coming. 5 and 13 of side. Did you see the value of 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 value Johannesburg was the venue for the official launch of the 2019-20 Guinness Pro 14 tournament. Media houses, administrators and the local participating unions all gathered at the Southern Sun and Hyde Park to usher in this exciting rugby event. Well, what a way actually to launch the Guinness Pro 14. I'm very much impressed with the attendance of the media, both print and electronic. Remember that uh, this is a competition that still needs to be profiled. And the uh, high number of media personnel that came here will actually add value to that. Because Pro 14 is a big competition. And I think the more people understand the nature of the competition, the better. Coming back to the team, I think we had a very good season in the Curry Cup. And I believe that is the momentum that will keep on going to the Pro 14. Actually, our plan this year is to play at the knockout stages, hopefully up to the semi-finals and once that anything can happen. Yes, we're indeed very excited to go into the Pro 14 after the Curry Cup win. Uh, the momentum is there. We're very happy. The excitement is still in the air in Lymphentine in the Free State. So to go right from the Curry Cup into Pro Rugby will be great for us. We'll keep the crowd, hopefully. We'll work hard on that. So Pro 14 will be a very excite, uh, exciting adventure for us this year. Yes, look, it's been a great experience for us. We've got, you know, South African players, instead of waiting for the Springboks to come up in November, you get the shop window of South African rugby, which is once a year, and then obviously the World Cup year, you get to see that every four years. So we're getting to see South African players week in, week out. 
um, which, which is great for us as, as we obviously want them to get stronger. We want all our teams to be competitive. Uh, as you may have heard earlier on, we're talking about the Italians, how, how long it's taken uh, them to get in good shape. The Cheetahs are looking pretty strong now. Naturally, there's going to be a big bounce after the Curry Cup. So things are looking really good. I suppose we, we just want to um, suppose support those clubs and get the message out there about what this tournament is to the South African fans. Because they're used to just um, all we see in Southern Hemisphere, but it's just to see, to see, you know, you've got the top players in the north coming down here. So uh, that's a great day out for a family, you know. So, um, yeah, so hopefully today is, is, is starting to get that message out there. So the Competitions like the Pro 14 is a very exciting competition. We're hoping to grow two more teams into the Pro 14 over time because we believe it's important for us to be in the Northern Hemisphere as well as in the Southern Hemisphere. So it's important for us to, to participate in these competitions and the Kings and the Cheetahs, because of the reduction in the number of professional players, a whole lot of new players have come available for them. And I think you'll see them competing better over the next couple of, uh, couple of years because uh, there's more quality players in the system for them. Yeah, I think we're in a fortunate position that we just finished the Curry Cup. Uh, we played eight games in a row, so hopefully that would have been uh, good enough preparation for us going into this Pro 14 season. So we're all excited to get going again. We've had a, a few days off now, so uh, looking forward to getting back um, as a squad and starting preparations for Pro 14. Well, you know, we, we see ourselves as pioneers when it comes to rugby in the sense that we are the first team to have played in the Northern and Southern Hemisphere competitions. So in this competition, we really want to do well. I think the team's got a good couple of games behind them. They match fit, so it should be a good one. Wow. Round one of the Guinness Pro 14 saw the Toyota Cheetahs getting the better of Glasgow Warriors from Scotland and in so doing, kicking off our campaign in the best possible way. Sure, I mean, the challenge was on after the good uh, final win a couple of weeks back. We had to come back and deliver again, and the boys did. 21 games in the season, then it's playoffs, so a long way ahead, but it was a good start. That was a really great game, man. Obviously, we expected them to come with intensity as Glasgow trying to play the similar brand to us. But I feel like we, we got the better of them today because we worked hard the past two weeks. And um, obviously, we're grateful for the win and on to the next one. Thanks, Junior. Yes, that next one was against Ulster, who outplayed us in our first ever Pro 14 match and drew to us in 2018. Now we welcome the Irish Giants to the Toyota Stadium with our tails up and redemption in mind. Pinar. Yards of Marinsberg. Skuman with the missed pass. Two and one. It's Anthony Thurman. He's got the pace. It's the first try. Cheaters. They respond to the challenge. William Small Smith takes it up to the midfield. Pinar. Skuman. Oh, Jasper. This there. Uh, what a gap, son. Gary Hahn. He needs the support, does he? Oh, with the chicken wing. Oh, it is. All happening out here. Randall Smith with the double flick flag. Good on you. Oh, it's been Cheetahs. Back to their 2019 2020 Guinness Pro 14 with two wins in a row. Looking for a hat trick of wins, the Toyota Cheetahs next welcome the men from Munster to the Toyota Stadium. Hands off is the call, so it will be Cheetahs' ball. Standing off and ready, a number of the big boys, but it's for Shear, who's a big boy himself. And now the short ball to Oxen Chair. And Chair's in for the try. Cheetahs get a second go. And Chair moves it along. They've got the numbers advantage on the outside. It's William Small Smith. William Small Smith for the corner. The Cheetahs are lighting it up. What a game. And in the end, you can see the scoreline reflects just that. It's the Cheetahs that win 40 points to 16. It was awesome to beat Munster for the first time. Hopefully not the last time. And um, yeah, the game obviously didn't go 100% as we planned for it to go. But you know what? Sometimes you have to grind it out. Sometimes an ugly win is better than a beautiful loss, I guess. So yeah, just happy for the five points. Uh, it was a very difficult game. Uh, Munster didn't make it easy at all. But it was a good game. We enjoyed it. And yeah, guys just stuck to the system. This famous victory was the first for the Free State franchise against Munster, but also sadly the last game with Franco Smith in charge. 
it's a massive opportunity. I coach significance, not success. And, and I mean, I've worked with some very good people and the, the Lord has given me that strength every day. And I hope that these guys, that wherever they go, will sow that seed, that they, uh, they walk that out to be the men they, they should be for their wives and the, 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 or the husbands and the, the fathers for their kids. So I worked with a great bunch of people in the last six years here and that's going to be uh, sad to leave. <laughs> That's all for this month. For more information on all things Cheetah, log on to our website at www.fscheetah.co.za or you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for all the latest happenings, photos and uploads. So until next month, keep supporting and as always... Ah, freestyle!